Today we caught up with Tom de Dordelot, four times ex-Alps competitor. He's certainly no novice when it comes to flying and hiking, having explored the best exotic locations around the world. We're quite chuffed with the high praise he had for New Zealand, where he trained for the last ex-Alps. In this interview, you'll also hear some of his insight and tips for newcomers to the ex-Alps. It's well worth a listen. Hope you enjoy. Uh, Tom de Dordelot from Belgium, and uh, we're here in... Uh Col de Fret in Annecy, training for Ixalts and checking the area. Cool. Yeah. And um, how's the training been going so far? Well, it's been going pretty good. I mean, uh, since the last edition, I've been only training doing bivouac, like in real conditions, I would say. And I think that's the best training you can get. I mean, it's you'll never do 12 or 13 hours a day at home, staying at home. So I've been finishing the Adriatic Circle lately. Uh, we took three weeks to cover 800 kilometers and uh, pushing quite hard because the conditions were not so good but I, I guess it was a pretty good training and now we are going around the Alps and checking the turn points and having you know sharing ideas and, and information with other teams so cool. it's been really good and so um, tell me about your preparation last time Where did you go and what um, you well two years ago I actually trained in New Zealand uh, it's it's still now one of my favorite uh, adventure so yeah cool. so far it's one of the best trip we've had I was with Ferdi and we crossed the South Island uh, from the Mavora Lakes to Nelson um, and that was beautiful. It was really good training and then we went to the x -Alps. We were pretty fit actually for that. But last x -Alps was amazing in terms of flying conditions. We got a 4,000 meter cloud base almost every day. Uh, so that was... it. I don't think it'll happen again here in the Alps this time. So we're getting ready for some rain and shitty conditions. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But I think all the teams are really well prepared and what I can see, because it's going to be my fifth time in the x -Alps, is that the level is just going so high now, like all the guys are really well prepared, uh, the gear has been evolving quite a lot, so it's getting lighter and lighter, the gliders fly, are flying better and better, people are going fast, you know, so it's... Uh, it's going to be really interesting and I think it's going to go really fast again but this this time the route is more difficult than ever uh, you've probably seen that <laughs> when you analyze it it's only looking at the map you're like oh shit you know they made it really difficult especially the first part I think so yeah it, it for sure be interesting and a lot of fun at the end we're here for fun and adventure so it's going to be cool so when are you coming back to New Zealand I'd like to come back really soon um, for flying and also for fly fishing. I love fly fishing. It's like kind of my second hobby after flying. So it's really something I enjoy. And I think New Zealand is really on top of the list. You know, it's uh, probably one of the, the best places in the world to get some, some good fly fishing sessions. So, and, uh, and also for bivouac flying. I think, you know, with the trails and the huts, and it's so convenient, except for the, to get food. And you have to carry a lot. But um, I love the country. It's beautiful. So you're not thinking about taking a gun next time and getting some... Do some hunting. <laughs> That would be the ultimate trip. Maybe. I don't know. You know, like, New Zealand is so beautiful. I, I loved it. You know, it's... Um, when you are in the Alps, it's great, and the mountains and stuff. But when you do have to walk in the valleys, it gets really shitty, and trucks and cars and stuff. Uh, when into when you are in, in New Zealand, it's into the wild and rivers, and it's uh, untouched. I love that. So what are, what are your tips for rookies like um, like Nick in the race? What do you think the, the top things to focus on? Are? Well, I'd say first of all, you know, you want to come back in one piece, so be safe. Um, the x -Alps is like pushing people to take risk a bit, you know. I mean, everyone manages it as, you know, as he wants, but um, people do take quite some risk. So be safe, fly safe, be careful. That's the first tip. Uh, second one, uh, don't burn yourself at the start many people go crazy at the start and they start running and then two days later they're dead so you want to save some energy uh, third tip yeah take time to think people want to go fast and so they take decision really fast when actually sometimes it's a bad decision so it's important to sit down sometime and really think about different options and take time with the team yeah fourth tip uh, choose your team like the teammates I think really like the supporters are probably the most important thing in the Exalts and they most of the time stay in the shadows but um, they're really important and they're 
when the athlete cannot think anymore and only has to fly and walk and hike, uh, the brain is, is the supporter. So I think, uh, yeah, choose your supporter. Um, someone who knows to analyze weather, for example, would be really good. Someone who can hike up the mountain with your gear. Um, someone who can stay calm in difficult and risky situation. Uh, all of that is important. And then I think the most important is do your own race. Uh, people tend to follow other athletes and uh, look at the tracks and stuff when actually you just you should work on intuition and instinct and do your race. And uh, we are here now, for example, in Col de Fret with uh, Team USA and, and, and myself, Team Belgium. And uh, Nick actually went his way. And I like that. You know, I, he thought, ah, maybe it's better there. I go. And I think that's the spirit. Um, you should always try to fly your own line and, and see what happens and have no regrets at the end. And then last of all, uh, enjoy it. It's just a game, you know, it's an adventure. It's a race for sure, it's a competition, but don't take it too seriously. I think people take it really seriously sometimes and then they, they get hurt or they get stressed or just take it easy. Don't look at the, the position you are at and just do your best and you'll, you'll have no regrets. That's it. No, yeah, see you there in Monaco, guys. <laughs> It'll be fun.